I'm Taylor Super. I'm the crew boss for the crew of one. I'm the holding boss on the Trex program out here. And uh, I don't know, we've just been getting all set up to do burns and I've been running the holding side of it. And I think we've been doing pretty good, getting a lot of training in, training up our uh, FFT1s and the uh, firing boss. And myself, I'm holding trainee, so I'm getting some task force leisure. Nice stuff in my task book. And the main thing is uh, always staying up on your weather, keeping your situational awareness up, you know, so there's no injuries. And then try to get everybody to get some nice training with their positions. Uh, my name is Abraham Cushman and right now we're just plumbing this dozer line because they're gonna burn this unit for the property owner. Nice. And who do you who do you work with? Who's your crew? Um, crew one. I got Taylor Super over there. He's my crew boss. Nick Jones, uh, Tony Carter, and Tammy Kinsen. Is this the first fire that you're seeing this year, or have you been working all summer? We've been fighting fire all summer, mainly in Orleans, just because we're tribal crew, so we stay on the cultural sensitive areas. Nice. That's about what we do. How do how do you feel about moving from wildfire to prescribed fire? Um pretty cool. You get to lay flame down, you get to see a lot more flame, so it's pretty cool. What's been your experience working on, on K1 so far? Uh, it's been really nice. Uh, I love everybody that I work with. They're, they're a good crew. They, we look out for each other, which is awesome. Nice. <laughs> I'm pretty new. I've only been at this for three weeks, four weeks, so I couldn't tell you much about the specifics, but I'm learning a lot. And, I'm happy to be here. We've just been laying hand line and holding at the, the fire's edge, which is pretty exciting. My name's Kent Jones, I'm from Happy Camp. Uh, the most exciting thing is to be able to burn and just be able to hold the land without having really too many problems, I guess. It's pretty fun just watching it burn and be able to know that we can control it in case like we get into actual IA um, situation. We know we can do it. Just having the confidence, nice. being around heat. I'm here to learn as much as I can, pretty much, as much as possible. I'm Bob Bale. I'm a burn boss from Wildland Restoration International. We're here in the Klamath River Valley, just outside of the town of Happy Camp. And uh, the Klamath River goes through Happy Camp. The Elk Creek feeds into the Klamath River right here at the next to Happy Camp. And this is a really special project here. What you can see behind me is a burn that was conducted just several days ago. And what it's done is, is re removed all, a great deal of downed uh, leaves, twigs, branches. There's some trees that have been laying there for a while. The burn consumed that stuff. And what it's left behind is uh, a lot, is a much safer condition in the event that a wildfire were to pass in here. Uh, as it would approach, the wildfire were coming through untreated areas would come to where we just burned and it would really effectively almost run out of fuel and would come to a stop here. What's really special about this place is if you look across the creek on those slopes uh, behind me also, we're planning to burn, uh, do the exact same thing we did here just across the creek and effectively what it'll do is we'll create a reduced fuel area on both sides of the creek so that in the future should a wildfire come roaring down the Elk Creek towards Happy Camp, it would come here and either go out or be easily contained. So this is a really big deal to protect the town of Happy Camp from wildfires, which are really common in these mountains. Nice. Thank you very much.